So guys, I want to show you guys the latest run of the GFS model because it does look very concerning. Take a look at the main development region. We have a 987 millibar tropical cyclone that's just to the east of the Windward and Leeward Islands as it definitely looks very concerning. As I'm making this video, the run is still coming out. We do see it weaken a little bit, which is certainly good news in its most latest, um, in its most latest frame. Hopefully it continues that way. But if we were to continue to move Move further back we clearly see the reason why it's um it organizes because at first while we do see the um, moisture a little bit asymmetrical compared to where the low level center is located eventually it's expected that the upper level moisture will catch up to where the location of the lower level center is and that will create more of a symmetrical storm and uh tropical cyclones like when there's far more symmetry with them because when there's more symmetry that means that the vorticity is equally distributed amongst all areas of the storm which maximizes a heat engine and that's what we clearly see and it and it gradually intensifies into a tropical storm and if this does drop down to the 980s when it comes to millibar pressure we could maybe be talking about a hurricane in our hands as early as um this weekend where by the 96 hour mark um we do see a hurricane um at least based on the latest run of what the gfs model is stating so it's not like this some um, uh, some guess forecast or some um super hyped up long-term scenario with the gfs model this is only 96 hours out but of course it, uh, there's still going to be uncertainty even with a forecast that's around four days out so we still need to take this with a grain of salt we need we need to at least um take a look at how the gfs model will shift its forecast over the next few days because of course it's far from certain and look at the most latest run it just um the most latest frames it just looks even scarier with its millibar pressure dropping down to 981 millibars and this is something that i don't really remember seeing at all really in my years tracking the hurricane season of a hurricane developing this far to the east this early in the year because we're not even at july yet and we could be talking about a hurricane in our hands for the windward and leeward island so this is definitely very concerning very organized um storm system because like i said there's plenty of moisture surrounding it and another thing too is that the wind shear isn't expected to be very strong which is certainly very concerning and definitely something we don't see very often this early in the hurricane season look at how the wind shear um looks like we do have an upper level low that's okay just above this storm system and not, not only is this upper level low diverting a lot of the strong upper level winds from hindering the storm from developing it's also creating a nice outflow channel for this to continue to intensify the further westward it moves where a lot of the latent heat that this storm produces will be able to naturally flow out and allow the storm to continue to intensify here now there's still some um, questions regarding how strong the wind shear will be because of course we do have this small upper level low that's located right around the middle of the atlantic now depending on that position of this upper level low that could be huge in determining how much it strengthens because hopefully we could see this upper level low move a little bit further southward to where it'll definitely hinder this storm system we're definitely going to need to see um a lot to happen for that to occur we're gonna need to see maybe this upper level high located just off the florida coast move a little bit further southwestward as well to force i mean southeastward to force this upper level low to move a little bit further southward a lot of things need to come into play but as of right now the gfs model is expecting a light amount of wind shear and look at the latest frame even more concerning a 975 millibar hurricane in our hands this is definitely a hurricane at this point and not even a, a low end category one hurricane maybe we could be um, calling this a category two with millibar pressure this low this is just mind-blowing to see this early in the hurricane season but again take it with a grain of salt because if we were to take a look at the other end with another very reliable computer model the european model the european model is still less precise
consistent of developing this as powerfully and if we were to take a look at the latest 12z run i'm um, continuing to move forward with the forecast we see that the european model doesn't really de develop a definitive center of circulation or potentially not even a tropical storm let's take a look at the relative humidity as well to see the reason why for one thing is that the european model doesn't expect necessarily as concentrated as moisture um, envelope that the GFS model is currently forecasting and the low and for the most part the low level center stays just to the east of a lot of this convective activity which creates a very asymmetrical look for this storm system and it doesn't maximize the heat engine the key thing that will determine how the symmetry will look with this storm system is of course the upper level winds because the upper level winds um, depending on how fast they are it, that will determine how fast the um, moisture um, in the upper levels will move if it moves a little bit too fast then the center circulation will be displaced from where all this convective activity is um, located and that would definitely limit the possibility of this developing into a tropical storm but if we were to um, have a scenario like GFS model where the low level center develops a little bit further to the west and we see the moisture sort of catch up with this then we could see a higher possibility of a tropical storm um, let me continue to move forward with the forecast we see that not really much of anything develops in the European model scenario but it does bring a plume of moisture in right around the windward and leeward islands and extending potentially as far west as Puerto Rico as well so regardless of whether the GFS model scenario is correct or the European model scenario is correct I'll say right around the midweek of next week approaching 4th of July weekend the island the Caribbean island should see a plume of moisture where you could see at the very least enhanced rainfall if we were if the GFS model scenario ends up being correct then that could potentially be a worst case scenario for the Caribbean islands for the first week of July so let's take a look at the GFS model to see the latest updates with it and we clearly see it's still in 970s making landfall somewhere along the southern islands which is definitely very concerning and with a storm system that's this strong who knows how far it could reach um, as it's very unlikely we'll see this fizzle out if it were to take a track like this towards maybe Puerto Rico or the Dominican Republic and Haiti so there's a good possibility potentially if in a scenario like this we could see a pretty strong tropical storm or hurricane impact the islands but take this with a grain of salt I'm definitely not um, stating that this is going to happen at all just yet I need to see at least a little bit more agreement with the most reliable computer models the European and the GFS model because right now they're pretty much um, completely different ends the GFS model wants to develop a pretty strong hurricane while the European model is at worst barely developing a tropical storm so it's definitely um it's definitely very different um when it comes to the forecast between the most reliable computer models so i'll keep you guys updated if we do see any major changes with the forecast but i will say we'll most likely get a better answer within the next 48 hours because that's when the gfs model expects initiation of the center of circulation and the european model also if it were to develop a center of circulation should happen right around the thursday time frame so i think thursday will be the key day to determine how much moisture will be surrounding the center circulation and if it does have a possibility of developing so keep this in mind over the next few days i'll certainly keep you guys updated as this could potentially be a big threat for the caribbean islands i won't go over impacts just yet what I could at least say is that I expect an enhanced amount of rainfall by the time we approach the middle of next week. But it could potentially be worse than that if the GFS model scenario is correct. So in the Windward Islands, the Leeward Islands, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Haiti, and even the areas further westward, I wouldn't rule out um, at least just taking um, keeping an eye on this. We um, Jamaica, you might need to keep an eye on this. Cuba, extending a little bit further westward as well. Maybe as far northwest as Bahamas and Florida, you at least might want to pay close attention to this in the at least for the long term future and at least for the next several days too early to make preparations but certainly at least keep an eye on this because it is certainly looking a little bit scarier especially with this 
latest run of the GFS model. And like I said, it's not a completely long-term forecast as well. The GFS model wants to develop a hurricane as early as um, this Friday to Saturday. So this, um, so things could be happening very quick and a lot quicker than you'd expect. So I'll certainly keep you guys updated um, as we see more changes with what the computer models are stating. Taking a look at the seven day graphical tropical weather outlook, we clearly see that we do have two disturbances that have a low chance of developing and this disturbance was the one that is expected in the GFS small scenario to develop into a hurricane. While the chance is low right now, I definitely wouldn't be surprised if the National Hurricane Center updates its forecasts in the very near future thanks to the fact that the GFS model is a little bit persistent on it and even the European model is definitely showing at least confidence that at least a low level center could develop out of this so i wouldn't be surprised if we see certainly see this chance rise potentially within the, as early as the next 24 hours so definitely keep that in mind and don't disregard this storm just because the chance is low right now because like i said i do think it's likely that we're going to see the chance increase when it comes to tropical cyclone formation and as for this discernment while we do have a low 20 percent chance of development um it is a little bit more accurate i'll say it seems like this disturbance um from what the computer models are stating is are going to deal with a little bit too much land interaction it'll also deal with stronger than usual shear so i think it'll be difficult for this to develop but there's still that chance and nevertheless right over the yucatan peninsula and um extending into the coast of mexico you de do need to watch out for an enhanced risk of rainfall by the time we approach this weekend thanks to this disturbance. And here are what some of the GFS ensemble members are stating and it doesn't look much better. Um, we still do see quite a bit um, of ensemble members definitely wanting to develop a tropical storm and even some developing this into a hurricane and it takes it straight towards the windward and leeward islands we do have some ensemble members taking it a little bit further westward which could be a future concern for dominican republic haiti and extending into puerto rico and potentially could move as far west as cuba the bahamas and who knows maybe even florida in the long-term future so you in the caribbean islands you definitely want to keep a close eye on this now as there could be the possibility of a tropical storm or hurricane in the near future for you guys but anyways guys that's it for now and i thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe if you want to see more hurricane season videos and i hope you guys all have a great day and stay tuned for further updates